So how about we knock out some Paula Young? I've got, I have two Paula Youngs, actually four, and a Jacqueline Smith. So I've got Mariah in SF 1228, so that's going to be a blonde. I have a hand tied sheer drama in color 101. And then I have Jacqueline in director's cut. And then I have the two that Makeup Hair Junkie Over 40 sent me. And I was looking for those, and I don't see them in the latest catalog. So I figured this is my thinking. How about if we just do them, and if you have something that's maybe the same style, that uh, maybe it'll work uh, with, you know, maybe we can cut bangs in it. I got, I got scissors ready, because I don't know what to expect. I did watch her reviews on them, and they are CC. And I think this color is still available in uh, 33 slash 28 root 4. And then this one is Stella. And I don't know if this color is available. I tried to look in the most recent catalog I have. This color is 833613. So, so, yeah. And then I've been wearing my Jones. And um, I, I sometimes I, I feel like if I can get it up like this, it's... I don't know, it'll, it'll help it kind of get together for me when I take it back down, but um, yeah, see how it kind of tucks into the, I feel that all day long into my uh, collar. It's uh, something I'm not used to, I guess, because I've been in that album for so long, but yeah. So this one is CC. Let's start with CC. And CC is the red in the color, I just said it, 33 slash 28 root 4. Yeah, so, um. I can tell it's a bob style. I did try to find it in the book. It's not in the book. So, again, this is just for um, maybe inspiration sake if you have a bob like this. So, uh, I do know it has a little bitty lace front. Very, very small. Very small across. Very, not very deep. And uh, it's all open wefted with moleskin ear tabs. And here's those ear tabs like this Jones, right? It's got where they're spliced on this, on this outside here like that. So this must be a, maybe a, a new thing they're doing, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's just I've got to get used to it. Oh, and I wanted to show you. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. let me put this on, and then I'll show you something that I, I found. Very cool. Very cool idea. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I, I came across this gal on YouTube um, and it's, it's like Mel Mel B but not the Mel B from the uh, talent shows uh, okay so uh, it looks like it's still basically in a crisscross pattern so she didn't do too much to this so um, this okay, I feel like I got hair in my face So I've been having um, a little bit of an issue with this coming out. This is me, uh, but it's all it's all gray, and so uh, this is starting to come out on me. And so what she did was this Mel B. Shoot, where did I put those uh, brushes? Doggone it! Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I went to Dollar Tree after work and. Uh, I bought these for a dollar twenty-five each. These are just little makeup brushes. Okay. They had the two, and I couldn't decide if I got them out there. Too, I got them out, so this is what she did. Because she had one that looked like this. Of course, hers was probably very expensive. She she looks like a like you know she looks yeah she looks wonderful. Actually, she looks wonderful. Her name is Mel, and it's Mel B Beautiful or Mel B Ageless or something like that. So. Anyway, so she's got this same kind of problem here, right, with this hanging out here. So what she does is she takes this, and I've used this too, but this is how she does it. So she shakes it up, and she puts it in the lid. And then she takes it, because it stays wet in here, and she takes it on a brush, and she just, like, paints it. I just thought that was genius. I don't think 
this is uh, this is probably too big to fit in the cap. But then, then the, I'm not doing like my whole head and uh, just whatever's out here. Anyway, I just thought that was so cool. Uh, what a great tip. Um, yeah, and so honestly, what I did was, was uh, because I'm, I'm losing like the pigment in all of my eyebrows, so I just took whatever's left on here and it just kind of went over uh, the tails of my eyebrows um, because there, there is no color on them anymore. It's the weirdest thing. I mean, I'm not that old, but I feel like uh, I'm losing all the color in all my hair. Um, oh, and so uh, with that Jones, you know, everybody was so kind to give me suggestions for this, the itching problem, which I still have, uh, and was saying that maybe I need a wig grip. Well, I, I'm wearing a wig grip, and here's the thing with the wig grip. Let me show you. So the wig grip is right here, right? So it comes down and goes behind my ear here. So it's all of this here that is being irritated by the ear tab with all this hair hair spliced into it all right here. So that's what's driving me crazy. So yeah, I, I wear a wig grip. I've always worn a wig grip. I have to pretty much, I can't do it without a wig grip. So uh, that it's just this that's on the outside here. And then, then the actual cap where it's like the seams are, the stitching is uh, really, really bad. Anyway, so let's look at this. So I do wear a wig grip, but it's not been helpful in the itching part because it, you know, because of my ears, the wig grip is back here. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so let's mess this up here. Let's mess up the crisscross part. And it's really wet. Okay, so it, if you like, you know, well, you, I don't think you can get this anymore, so we won't talk about it. We won't talk about what it actually has and doesn't have. Um, uh, because uh, I was going to say this is going to be great for the low density gals who don't like permatease because there's like absolutely none. There's no permatease. So uh, this is my left and I'm not a left hand parter but it's going that way anyway. So um, uh, there's no permatease. I don't know if I've ever had a piece that didn't have any permatease but uh, yeah. There's none. Okay, so this would need a lot of uh, ooh, I put myself in the eye, training to keep that off my forehead, uh, uh, or uh, you know, to kind of do that. And I would probably need steam, or I don't even know if a blow dryer would be enough uh, effort on that. But uh, yeah, Let's see what do I have here? I got water. I feel like I've got flyaways or something getting, getting uh, dancing across my forehead like that. And so the color is, um, looks, I look like I have clean hair, you know. I love the fibers. Fibers are dry. Um, let's look at the back. Uh, so I don't know what the back looks like. I'm, I'm guessing it's good because uh, she told me, uh, she says, I have one I want to send you. She says, it sounds like it'd be great for your job because uh, she heard me say in a video that I can't wear anything past my collar. So this is actually perfect for my job. And not even having bangs, it would be great to have it. Uh, no bangs, you know, so I could just stick the shield on. But uh, I'm going to have to really mess with that uh, front here. So now I'm on my right. I love a deep right hand part. God, I can't even imagine um, if this were truly indeed my hair, uh, how proud I would have been <laughs> to have grown my bangs out <laughs> that, that far. This is going to be truly on the left, so. So if you could just think how cute that would be uh, when I could get it up and off like that. That's cute, but we're not here for that. We're here for some styles. So let's, let's style this thing up here, see what we can do. Because it's pretty, uh, it's pretty uh, one trick pony, you know, just Um, 
I tried to find uh, reviews on this uh, over the last couple of days since I got it actually to kind of see what people were doing with it or you know just some reviews which I probably shouldn't do but I mean I don't know if it matters so I'm just picking this up here and I'm holding it up to me to where I like it One side up. Maybe. My roommates have the heater going again. Boy, I don't know. It's hot. <laughs> I mean, it is February, but it's been a warm February. Okay, let me just keep going here. I'll put, mess with the front in a minute here. Oh, it's hot. My room has like three vents. Um, and so I get a lot of heat and I, I want, I've want i tried to cover them up and uh, it just stays hot. Uh, I was told I could probably catch the place on fire doing that so I, I have to be real careful covering up the vents. <laughs> Now this is um this is just regular synthetic. It does not feel like it is heat friendly. Um, this one would be a good one to be heat friendly because you could put some movement in it, <laughs> if you will. Uh, there's a there's a lace front right there. Very small, very small. Not that it matters, but uh, let's see. This I don't know. I need to get it to hold its own up there. I don't know if there's if the piece out cream is strong enough. So I'm getting it in my hands here. This is probably going to be a really boring video. <laughs> Just trying to get this up high. So I apologize. Uh, hang in there with me. Hang in there with me. Yeah. So I'm just putting it. See how I'm putting it like right here, right in here, and uh, rolling it together. Rolling it together. And I'm going to put some on this side. Rolling it together. Oh. This could be really cute. I'm sure they have other things. Like they have a lot of styles in that Paula Young book with bangs. A lot of them with bangs. I kind of uh, remember Lisa Marie Presley. What a shocker when she passed. Uh, this kind of reminds me of, her, uh, I don't know, the color of her hair maybe? Or maybe I'm thinking of Priscilla. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to take this and twist it together like that and pull back on it. I want it to stay like that. Yeah, that, I could do that at work easy. Easy. Oh my gosh. What a gift. What an amazing gift. Okay. So, they're so long. Um, you kind of have to get creative with ear tucks so they don't look so wiggy. <laughs> so, uh, I just try to get lift because I, I like uh, I love that Noriko bump <laughs> this has nothing nothing at all like 
I'm tucking no from a tease, which is fine. I just have to get it up there on my own, get it up there high on my own. But that's staying up there a lot better. And it's on the right, which I love. I love it on the right side. Okay. Here we go. This is a little better. I need a bigger clip. I don't know why I'm leaning over like that. I could just pull it right to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then some, some asked me if I was still using this. Still using this. This one's coming together. So see like how I tried it earlier um, and it didn't work so I took it down and now I'm trying it again and see if it works and it may not work this time. You know, I just uh, try. That's why it's important for me to do this when I have time. Uh, when I have time to play around and then, you know, once you get it up, then it stays. Uh, you know, you just take it off at night and lay it down, and then this, like, uh, like this. See, I was just wearing, what is this, Jones, right? And I have it up. So I just take it off, and see, it's still ready to go for the next time I want to wear it. Um, just as cute as ever, and, and it's still ready to go. And see, now it's learning how to keep the bangs up. It's, it's learning. It's got a piece out cream in there from, you know, how I showed you the other day. And, uh, yeah. Um. So that's going to be pretty uh, like this once you get it where you want it. Then it'll be good to go for a while, you know. Um, this is kind of doing something funky here. But uh, this is probably getting way too long. And I apologize for that. I mean, I could probably just sit here and play with this for hours. I don't know how much of that you want to see. <laughs> but yeah, see if this gave you some inspiration for any kind of maybe uh, Bob you might have. And then, uh, yeah, hang out and we'll do another Paul Young one. Talk soon.